Let's check it out. Okay, this one's called Blast Off by Linda Kane and Susan Rosenbaum, and it's illustrated by Leo and Diane Dillon. Let's see what this one's all about. There we go, we got it all. Blast Off. For as long as she could remember, Regina Williams wanted to become an astronaut. How cool is that? She dreamed about it, she talked about it, and she drew pictures of astronauts anywhere and everywhere. One day, Regina was drawing a rocket ship on the sidewalk in front of her house. And two of her friends walked over to look at the picture. What are you doing, Regina? asked Rico. Can't you see I'm drawing a picture? Oh, but what's that funny shaped thing? asked Missy. That's a rocket, Regina answered. Someday I'm going to be an astronaut and fly a real spaceship. And I'll zoom through the sky into space and I'll find new worlds and maybe meet new people and I'll come back and I'll be famous. Missy looked at Rico and they both laughed. Stop kidding us, Regina, Rico said. You'll never be an astronaut. Regina sighed. Don't you guys care about anything but fooling around? Rico and Missy just shook their heads and walked away. Regina went back to her drawing, but somehow the rocket didn't look as good as it had before. Oh, no. She walked up to the street to the empty lot and found some pipes, boxes, cans and an old tyre. Wow, she thought, this stuff will make a great spaceship. Regina piled a few boxes on top of each other and then she took an old trash can that had been mashed in by the street cleaners. This will be my space capsule, she said. Regina began to get excited as she worked on her spaceship. She worked very hard. Would her dream of being an astronaut really come true? At last the spaceship was ready for blast off and Regina sat down in the seat. It felt great to be at the controls of her spaceship. She checked the controls and the countdown began. 10, 9, 8, 7, 
six, five, four, three, two, one. Blast off. All of a sudden, Regina could feel the ship shaking around her. My ship is moving, she yelled. I'm leaving the ground. Regina sat frozen in her seat. It's really true. I'm moving through the sky into space. As Regina looked through a hole in the capsule, her eyes grew wide in wonder. She saw the blue-green earth below her. Wow, I never would have guessed that the earth was so small. The blackness of space was dotted with stars. Look at all those stars, Regina said. There are so many of them. What's that thing coming at me? I bet it's a weather station. I can tell the weather way ahead of time. I wonder what all those other things are floating in space. How cool is that, huh? Regina leaned back in her seat and began to get a funny feeling in her stomach, the kind that comes from being alone. It looked as if the blackness of space would never end. It's getting so lonely up here, she said quietly. Bang! What was that? yelled Regina. It shook the whole ship. It must have been a meteor or something. Bam! Uh oh. Help, my ship is being hit from all sides. It feels like it's falling apart. Crash! All of a sudden, everything was quiet again. Regina opened her eyes and slowly crawled out of the spaceship. Rico and Missy ran up to her. Where have you been, Regina? We've been looking for you. I just went on a trip into outer space, Regina said proudly. Ha, huh, the only trip you ever took was off this pile of junk, Rico said. No, I was in outer space. I saw a weather station and some meteors banged into me. Rico and Missy just looked at each other. Oh, come on, you were just dreaming, Rico said, laughing. Regina didn't say anything. She just looked at them with a knowing smile. Imagination is a powerful tool. Love you.